Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Bruce Ellis, and this is the Insider Report. So sit back, relax, and let your ears do the walking as I fill you in on what's going on in the area this weekend and beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. And I'm all alone. Cat had hell week at the old theater, so I know what that's all about. So, hey, it's say no more, say no more. She said, could I have Monday off? I was like, absolutely. Could I have Monday off? She said, that's funny, yeah. No, she, she told me she was taking Monday off, and that's it. <laughs> no, could I have Monday off? But she apologized for not being here. She will miss being on the show and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I can understand. She's, yeah. I, I said, well, that's why they call it Hell Week, man, at the theater and everything. But we do have a guest, and we'll get to him pretty soon. But hope everybody went out and had some fun this weekend. Uh, yeah, it was off and on with the sunshine and the rain and all kinds of good stuff like that was going on. I mean, what what hour is it, and what what is going on out there? Man, <laughs> hell, everything. The weather's been pretty wild, man. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no kidding. So, yeah, but... uh we just stayed in, did some stuff. I can't even think of anything that was really, yeah, entertaining that we did. So there you go. Just watched some races and, yeah, had some fun. Oh, some friends came over and, yeah, he got to play with some friends of his and everything. So that's cool. Some that's kids great. from his school and everything. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I mean, I got Jesse Orozco here. <laughs> from, hey. And he's going to be on talking about his thing when we get to here in a minute. And it's kind of weird when I don't have a co-host, you know, it's like, okay, that's the part that's kind of like, I, I almost just jump right into the show, which I will hear really shortly. So I hope everybody has some fun out there and did something. I mean, we got enough to keep going here. There's lots of music. We regrouped and everything. The Insider Southern Oregon is out now, the paper. So we got all kinds of info from that in here. And before we get going, I'd like to thank Oregon South Coast Fishermen, the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast of VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows out there, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. Well, as I said, hey, Jess. Hey, how are you doing? Here. Yeah, thanks for pinch hitting there for a second. <laughs> I'm no problem. Looking at you talking, I was like, ah, am I supposed to talk back? You know, you know no, it's Absolutely. Like, no, it's perfect, man. It's cool, man. Uh, it's good to have you here. You're talking about these things coming up here. For, I've got it in the paper, so we'll be talking about that. Coos Forest Protection Association is your home resistant to wildfire. That's right. I mean, you think about that, unless it's made out of concrete. I mean, <laughs> my, yeah, like, there's always tips and tricks to make it more resistant yeah, to wildfire. Cool. And Yeah, that's that's great. So that's what this thing's all about. Well, that's what this town hall is all about. Yeah, well, go ahead, Jesse. Let the peoples know what this thing, it's coming up here. It's, it's really coming soon. up really shortly. It's coming yeah. up this Wednesday and Thursday. That's it. Wednesday yeah. is in Gold Beach at 6 p.m. At the event center on the beach, the showcase building, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to talk about ways to make your home more defendable to wildfire. Um, some home hardening from the Oregon State Fire Marshal. Um, her and I will be putting this event on. And it's going to be a great event. You're going to let it go home with a lot of great knowledge. Um, I also can come out and give you an assessment on your home if you'd like. And um, we come out. I give you an assessment. If your place needs some work. And we also can come out and do the work as well. We have a hand crew that comes out and does this work. Um, we have a short window, though, right before a fire season and right after fire season to do this work. Um, and we just get you on the list, and um, we go from there. Um, the March 14th one is this Thursday as well, 6 p.m., and that's going to be at the Southern Oregon Community College, the Curry Campus. Oh, okay. Um it says on this flyer been passing out, room 118. We just changed that to the community room. Um, we're expecting a bigger oh, turnout, so oh. we just had to move it. Put a sign on the door. Yep. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's moved. That's cool, yeah. Yeah, so this wildfire stuff, you know, it's been hectic. With yeah. all these wildfires, we had the Smith River Complex. We've had, we had several Latin in the fire. past few years I've been here. Yeah, absolutely. Anvil um, this past so there's a lot of wildfires going on, and a lot of these homeowners are wanting us to come out and give them an assessment and say, what can I do to protect my home, you know, other than stand there with a hose? and What can I do? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. practices can I do to make my right. home more safe? Yeah. And exactly. um, the uh, home ignition zone, it has three levels to the home ignition zone. So you got your immediate, intermediate, and extended level. So we'll talk about all that stuff at this event. Okay. Um, I would love the people to come out. 
And um, support us It will be the Oregon State Fire Marshal Risk Reduction Specialist, Kelsey Hunter, as well as myself. Um, you wow. know, and if they got any questions, they can call me as well, um, 541-661-3487. That's my number to reach me at. Um, if they got any questions about this presentation that's coming up this week, um, or they would like to get an assessment, they can give me a call and we can go from there. Right on. Very cool, very cool. So it's going to be on the 13th at 6 up in Gold Beach, and then on the 14th at 6 at SWAC. So yep. there you go. Oh, very cool. That's Hey, very. it's going to be an informative thing. And I'll tell you what, if, uh, you know, homeowners around here or anywhere, you know, uh, we are close to the woods, you know, and stuff like that, trees all around and everything like that. So uh, I can see where this would be very educational. And it's going to be very educational, and they're going to learn a lot. Um, I'm going to learn a lot, and, um, you know, it's a great organization, Coos Forest. We do a lot. Um, we keep busy, and uh, we do a lot of great work. So, wow. Well, good deal. Well, thanks, and keep it up there, buddy. Thank you. Good Bruce, seeing you, Jess, man. Good seeing you. Coming on, and uh, yeah, good thing. Hope you have a good turnout and everything goes well. Thank you very much. We're so There's that. a lot of people, man. I'm sure you're going to I'm expecting a, a big crowd, you yeah, know. Yeah, I was just thinking about crowd. this. Yeah, because this will be airing Wednesday. starts on Wednesday, so it'll go at Wednesday and then Thursday for the people that are in Brookings here, and so I put it in the paper, too. Oh, you know, thank I you very much. I you sent me. Um, I took care of that, you know. So. We, we got it. It's being shared all over Facebook. Who's Car Electric shared it. Yeah, um, yeah. We're sharing it on our, we have a Facebook page, uh, 2022 to 2024, Curry County Defensible Space, um, something like that. So check that Facebook, Facebook? page out. Yep. It goes 2022-2024, um, Curry County Defensible Space. Oh, okay. Okay. So they can there check us go. out on Facebook. Give us a like. That good stuff as well. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put it on the inside of things so I can catch the and I can post stuff like this you do on yeah. there as well. Yeah, and that's how I catch a lot of my stuff too. Oh, perfect. Seeing it, everybody Facebook and it. And Every, that's where it's at anymore, you know. It's yeah. all that Facebook, you know. I'm telling you. Yeah, get it out there. Where it's so. going. Yep. Well, good thing, man. Well, thank you very much. Thank for you very much, board, Bruce. And good luck with that. And uh, yeah, everybody, that'll be fun stuff. That was always cool. Something cool going to be coming. There's a very educational and informative program going on there. Glad to see my buddy Jess doing it. All right. Hey, here we go. Now let's get into some stuff here. We got some music going on at Elk Valley Casino at the Betty Green Center. They've got on the 16th, comedian Tim Gather at 8 p.m. On the 29th, they got Bad Moon Rising, a CCR tribute at 8. On the 30th, they have One of These Nights, which is an Eagles tribute at 8. Then in the Warriors Bar and Grill at 7.30 p.m., the music starts. 3.15 and 3.16, Hannah Paysinger. On the 22nd and 23rd, Jesse Mead. And on the 29th and 30th, Steve Nelson. And then Ranch Party, you catch them at, on the 15th and the 16th at Coon Ties, 6 to 8. Then we have the Italian guys on the 14th and the 29th. They'll be at Coon Ties, 6 to 8. Then we got Bloodline playing on St. Paddy's Day, the 17th at Fat Irish, 2.30 p.m. Mike Powell will be playing there on the 22nd, Chetco Bruins, 6 to 8. On the 22nd, Daniel Duran and Ohana. On Tuesdays, you got an open mic at Oxen Free from 8 to 11. And then on Thursdays, there's an open mic at Checo Brewing from 5 to 8. And on the 23rd, they'll be at the Grange Chamber of Commerce Resident Meet and Greet from 12 to 5. will be music going on, so they'll be in there. So there you go, Daniel Duran and Ohana. Hey, PA and T-Roy, they'll be on the 22nd at Misty Mountain Brewing, 6 to 8. Rogue Strings will be playing at the Oxen Free on the 16th at 8. We got Lon Goddard. He's playing on the 15th and the 29th at Misty Mountain Bruins, 6 to 8. Then on the 20th, he'll be at Coon Tai at 6 to 8. And then on the 30th, he'll be doing the Stage Light Spaghetti Feed Fundraiser at the Grange, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tortuga Mexican Restaurant music runs from 6 to 8 p.m. there. On the 15th, they got Honest Labor. On the 16th, they got Black GTO. On the 22nd, they've got Jonathan Foster. 23rd is Jivon Herzog. 29th is Greg Russell. And on the 30th, it's Honest Labor again. Then at Cisco and Daltrey, they're going to be playing on the 27th at Checo Activity Center, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then Cisco will be doing a solo gig on the 16th, 23rd, and the 30th at the Brigings Harbor Farmer's Market, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, the Inateca is featuring the 15th Spence Brothers Blues Band, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then on the 22nd, they got the Stephanie Latore and the Reverbs, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. 
Then we got the Spence Brothers Blues Band, of course. Like I said, they'll be at the 15th at the Inateca, 8 to 10. Misty Mountain Brewing on the 13th. Mike Schmidt and Ross Morgan will be going from 6 to 8. On the 15th to 29th, Lon Goddard, 6 to 8. And on the 22nd, P.A. and T. Roy, 6 to 8. That's going on with the music that's happening in town. And if you got a music schedule and you would like to get it on the air, all you got to do is send it to me at captaincurry541 at gmail.com. Now we got some Three Penny Theaters presenting the Vagina Monologues by Eve Ensler. This is going to be at the Brookings Event Center located at 800 Checo Avenue, Unit B in Brookings. This is uh, last weekend, Fridays and Saturdays, 7 p.m., Sunday, 2 p.m. This is featuring performances from Hollywood actor and stand-up comedian Chloe Rosenthal, as well as former Oregon and Boise Shakespeare Festival actor Victoria Weller. The Vagina Monologues has been performed to critical acclaim in venues worldwide since 1996, is an Obie Award winner and a staple at annual fundraisers to end violence against women. Tickets are $15 in advance at threepennytheater.com or at the door on the day of the performance with discounts available for seniors, students, and veterans. Doors open 30 minutes before the start of each show. For more info, you can call 541-251-0640, or you can send a message to contact at threepennytheater.com. You can find them also and follow them at Three Penny Theater Company on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. All right, yes, indeed. And then we got, some, well, of course, St. Patrick's Day is coming up here. That's right. Yes. And they're having a St. Patrick's Day fundraiser at the Checo Activity Center, 550 Checo Lane in Brookings, Friday, March 15th. Corned beef and cabbage. Alternate lunch served between 11.15 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. That's $10 each. Then they have a corned beef and cabbage dinner, $20 each, but that's takeout only. And if people mention they are members of the center or they saw the Insider of Southern Oregon Flyer or heard about it on the radio, they get $5 off each meal purchased. Now, the pickup dates for those meals, there's 1230 to 230 on Sunday, March 17th. And then at 4 p.m. on St. Patrick's Day, they'll have a pot of gold potluck. Please bring a themed green slash Irish dish to share, your own beverage, plate and utensils, or purchase a corned beef and cabbage meal from their kitchen. They're currently accepting donations for these fundraisers. You can contact Rita at 541-469-6822 for information on how you can help. Hey, now we got quotes from famous people with me, Cousin Bruce. Here are a few quotes from author Jack Kerouac. He was born on March 12th, 1922. He says, all human beings are also dream beings. Dreaming ties all mankind together says, great things are not accomplished by those who yield to trends and fads and popular opinion. If moderation is a fault, then indifference is a crime. And last but not least, my manners, abominable at times, can be sweet. There you go. Hope you enjoyed these week's quotes from Jack Kerouac. That's right, with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. Yes, indeedy. Okay, then we got the Rogue Playhouse and Ellisburg Theater located at 94196 West Moore Street in Gold Beach is presenting Tombstone, directed by Michael Hall. This is playing from the 15th to the 31st, Fridays and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. and Sundays at 2 p.m. The year is sometime in the 1880s and Wyatt Earp and his brothers Virgil and Morgan are living and working as lawmen in Tombstone, Arizona. Wyatt is also part owner of the Oriental Saloon. At the time of the story, Wyatt is living with Maddie Baylock while seeing a young lady of ill repute named Josie on the side. There is building resentment on the part of ex-sheriff Johnny Behan, whose job and girl Wyatt has relieved him of. The Clantons and McClowries are no big fans of Wyatt either, for reasons you'll discover. And once Doc Holliday shows up, pursued closely by Big Nose Kate, well, let's just say things begin to escalate. They advise you make reservations, 541-247-4382. Tickets are 15 and available at Gold Beach Books and Jerry's Rogue Jets Gift Shop. Hey, Jack Wilhite's Rock and Roll Comedy Show Tour. Professional rock vocal impressionist and stand-up comedian Jack Wilhite employs guitars, amps, lighting, 
effects, props, and costumes to bring you music parodies of rock acts like ACDC, Bon Jovi, Cheap Trick, John Mellencamp, ZZ Top, and it just goes on. It's, hey, there's two chances to catch the show. You can catch it on the 15th here at Brookings Elks Lodge from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tickets are available at the door. For more information on that, you can call 541-469-2169. And then he's going to be on the 17th at Mr. Ed's Espresso Juice and Underground Pub, located at 1806 Oregon Street in Port Orford. He'll be doing that from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tickets are available for that one online at www.mredsundergroundpub.com. And they're also available at the door. Hey, we've got a Del Norte Seed and Plant Exchange going on at Del Norte Fairgrounds Arts and Crafts Building. This is happening on the 16th from noon to 4. It's a free public event. Seeds, plants, and scions. Hands-on garden demonstrations. Kids' activities. And garden experts. There will also be a silent raffle. And local food and drinks are available. This is a fundraiser for DNATL Community Food Council. Hey, and the Brookings Elks Lock, they're busy this month. They're presenting the Harbor Game Con. It's, it's coming Saturday, 16th, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. They are excited to announce Harbor Game Con is back for its second year. The convention will once again be 100% free to attend and open to all ages. Harbor Game Con 2024 will be hosting the following events. A schedule of tabletop role-playing and board games. A giant open board game library to choose from. Magic the Gathering, Casual Play and Open Card Game Tables, Vendors Selling Crafts, Toys, Games, and Cards. For early sign-ups, players can sign up for scheduled games prior to the convention. That will be held between March 1st and the 15th. During this early sign-up period, the sign-up sheets will be located in a binder at the Whimsical Griffin Game Store in Brookings. The day of the convention, sign-up sheets will be available at the convention for same-day sign-up. Food and beverages will also be available for purchase. Here we go. Now some fun. It's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history. For your knowledge, pleasure. Did you know that Mark Twain once almost did a duel to the death? It's true. And here's the story. One night, Twain was drunk and feeling like writing something. Well, at the time, he was working for a newspaper, and he wrote up an article. In the article, he essentially accused a few prominent members in Virginia City of embezzling from charities, and he also accused another newspaper of withholding their donations from charity. Now, these were some serious accusations, and none of them were actually true, but he was drunk, so he wrote it anyways. Well, by accident, the article was published. Well, the other newspaper owner named James Laird publicly degraded Twain and called him a liar. Well, Twain decided the only way to defend his honor was to challenge him to a duel. Well, Laird accepted, and the plan was set. Mark Twain would duel James Laird to the death. Well, when it came time for the duel, Twain got one of his buddies and went out to the site early. He confessed that he was actually a terrible shot, and this was a big mistake. Well, his buddy decided to quickly show him how to shoot. So he took aim at a bird and decapitated it with a single shot. Well, right after that, his opponent showed up to duel. He saw the decapitated bird and he asked who did it. Well, Twain's buddy thought fast and said that Twain had done it. He also said he was a great shot and could make the shot almost every time he tried. Well, that spooked Laird and he decided to talk to Twain. He made amends and asked him if he was willing to call it off. Well, Twain quickly agreed and they parted ways. If it hadn't been for the quick wit of his buddy to say that Twain had shot the bird, Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer might not exist today. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's Better Way History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Oh, yeah, I love that story. That's classic, man. <laughs> He was drunk. <laughs> I love it. That cracked me up. Mark Twain sounds about right. I'm surprised you didn't make a story about that one. Hey, Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Jamie O'Neill. This is happening on the 23rd at 8 p.m. An evening of music with platinum-selling four-time Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter Jamie O'Neill. This double acoustic event is happening at Lucky 7 Casino and Hotel for one night only. 
doors open at 7 and the show starts at 8. Tickets are available online at www.eventbrite.com or at the casino. Now, for this event, you must be 21 years or older to attend. One of those. Yeah, because it's at a casino. Hey, the Tsunami Resiliency Festival 60th Anniversary Memorial at 101 Citizens Dock Road in Crescent City on the 23rd from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. This march marks the 60th anniversary of the devastating 1964 tsunami that struck much of the western coast, but was most destructive to our little town of Crescent City. Rebuilding was an immense undertaking, but their tenacious community got to work. In celebration of that strong-willed spirit, they look forward to gathering the community for the Tsunami Resiliency Festival. Here's the order of events. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., they got artifacts and stories at Del Norte County Historical Society's Museum located at 577 8th Street. From 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., they got the Art Walk at Crescent City Harbor. From 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m., they got survivor stories along the waterfront. And then 5.30 to 8 p.m., Stories of the Sea and Sea Shanties at Porta Pints Brewing Company. That's what's going on there. And then Elk Valley Casino, located at 2021 Elk Ranch Road in Crescent City, is presenting Bad Moon Rising, a tribute to Creedence Clearwater Revival. This happening on the 29th at 8 p.m., a tribute to one of America's greatest rock bands, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Tickets are on sale now at www.etix.com. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8 p.m. You must be 21 or older to attend. Then we got the Pistol River Concert Association is presenting the Muddy Souls at Pistol River Friendship Club. It's located at 24252 Carpenterville Frontage Road in Pistol River. On the 30th, 7.30 p.m., the Muddy Souls are a progressive jam grass a band based in Eugene, Oregon, featuring original songs, improvisation, vocal harmonies, Formed in 2018, the band has four albums of original music and has played more than 150 shows across the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, and the Northeast, including festival sets at Freshgrass, Bridge City, Bluegrass, Oregon County Fair, and Wintergrass. Tickets at Wright's Custom Framing in Brookings and First Chapter Coffee House in Gold Beach. Hey, Curry Public Library, located at 94341 3rd Street in Gold Beach, is presenting the Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, please email memorycafe at cplib.net or call 541-247-7246. Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include but are not often limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in their same situation. Memory Cafe will be staffed by a qualified social service provider and a library staff and volunteers. You know what? The case I do is got a soapbox series. They're given folks a chance to speak their mind on a new show called the KCIW Soapbox. There you go. It's basically KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules. There's no cussing, no slandering, and no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in and record. So two minutes to get it off your chest. That's a beautiful thing. Game Night at the Whimsical Griffin is happening at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater, Tuesdays and Fridays, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, board games, and more. All right, that is it. We've got the flying fickle finger of fate from the producer, so it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout-out to our fearless producer, Brother Tom, for all his great work making us look and sound good on the radio. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at kciw.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well. Till next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. I survived. I made it through this alive. Whew, man. So until next week, you know what? Keep it real and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And 
We'll see you out there. Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.